2005, while conducting one of our Law of Attraction cruise seminars, that we were approached by Rhonda Byrne, an Australian television producer. She wanted us to allow her to create an Australian TV series based on the teachings of Abraham. And as a result of our ensuing contractual agreement, Rhonda brought her Australian film crew on board our 2005 Alaskan Law of Attraction cruise and filmed about 14 hours of seminar material. And as a result, in 2006, the basic tenet of our original 1988 album, The Law of Attraction, was used as the foundation for the original version of the phenomenally successful DVD movie and subsequent book, The Secret. Esther and I don't appear in the revised edition of The Secret. We can only be seen in the original version, but between the viral distribution of the original edition and the standard distribution of the revised expanded edition, The Secret has added a powerful impetus to the worldwide dissemination of Abraham's teachings regarding the universal law of attraction. And we are most appreciative that Rhonda fulfilled her dream of bringing an awareness of Abraham's basic law of attraction concepts to the world. For in doing so, she's instilled a belief and evoked an asking in the minds of millions of viewers who now have come to believe that they do have the ability to achieve better feeling lives and so they're now asking and Abraham teaches us that asking is the first step in the creation process and as they have asked what they have asked for has been given their next step now will be to learn to allow themselves to receive that which has been given if you were already feeling good when you found this book, then by utilizing these materials, your life can now, by your deliberate intention, spiral toward that which allows you to feel even better. However, if in this moment you're feeling less than good, or even if you think your life is as bad as it can possibly get, you can still learn perspectives here that can enable you to allow your life to begin to incrementally improve. Or you may be one of those rare ones who, from something you read here, receive a paradigm shift in your beingness that somehow propels you from a long-term feeling of powerlessness up into a fresh, long-term joyous alignment with your natural state of well-being. And once you reach that state, you'll feel like a magnet, attracting to yourself everything and every relationship to which you are a vibrational match. I've said that if I receive one practical idea that I can put into practice from a book, a lecture, or a visit with someone, it's well worth spending my time and or money, because a single new perspective can redirect my thoughts and thereby redirect my life. For instance, a minister friend, Chet Castellaw, said to me back in 1970, Jerry, you'll never receive the kind of success you're saying you want. I asked him, why not? And Chet responded, because you're critical of successful people. Well, I said, that's because they lie, cheat, and steal. And Chet said to me, you could be critical of their lying, cheating, and stealing, but you're critical of their success at lying, cheating, and stealing. You can't be critical of huge success and achieve huge success. Well, there it was, just one idea, a different perspective that 38 years ago I immediately began to act on, which preceded a giant wave of what most would call coincidental events that carried me on joyously to receiving the essence of everything that I had ever wanted to be, do, or have. And our intention for you is that you will receive ideas from this book that will inspire within you new patterns of thought that will attract to you whatever brings you the most of whatever you want to be or do or have. In this relationships book, Abraham focuses the light of their broader perspective to reveal a wide array of flawed premises which most of us are living by relative to our varied relationships. And as you come upon these false premise segments, false relative to the natural laws of the universe, if you'll superimpose Abraham's perspective over your personal life experience, known only by you, and if you see room for improvement in your life, you will have the opportunity to shift your life from as good as it is right now to whatever you perceive as a better feeling experience. Now here are a couple of examples of flawed premises under which I operated for many years. Note how these false beliefs caused me so much discontent. But even more important, take notice of how a simple change in my perspective led to an immediate major positive change in my life experience. My mother was a born, died in the will nonconformist. I too was born as an adamant nonconformist. For over 30 years, mother tried, even violently, to get me to conform with what she wanted me to be. And every time I came into contact with her, I tried vehemently and defensively to get her to conform with how I wanted her to treat me. Also, I was always a bit embarrassed in public, but somehow proud of her obvious lack of conformity. And so for more than 30 years, every time we came together, we fought. But then, soon after my father died, I adopted a new premise. It came to me as a complete idea. The flawed premise each of us had been operating on.